I am my Irish back, Murphy. I was always Lewis because my father's name is James Bernard Kellen. I was born in 1877. We're doing our second annual cemetery walk at the Spring Valley Cemetery located in southeast Douglas County. This is put on by the Larkspur Historical Society and the Spring Valley Cemetery Association. We're honoring uh, our pioneers of Douglas County before the turn of the century. We're going to feature uh, Irish Pat Murphy, who climbed Pikes Peak at 101, Newton Alderman, who donated the front half of this cemetery, Ada Bucks Lorraine, whose father was a pioneer of this country. We're also going to feature Anna Baker Geiger, who came in 1866. Lewis Killen, he donated funds in 1965 to build a chapel in the, on the cemetery grounds. It's a beautiful chapel and it's used for weddings and funerals. My name is James Lewis Killen. You can call me Lewis, everyone always has. I was born in 1904 in Monument, Colorado. In my will, I left $75,000 for the money to build a chapel here on the cemetery grounds in memory of my parents. So I suppose if you come out here to the cemetery, I would hope that you would stop in the chapel there and, and perhaps say a prayer for my parents and for me and for this, this wonderful land all around the cemetery, all around Spring Valley here. Welcome, my name is Annie Baker Geiger. I was born December 20th, 1841. I was an active member of the Methodist Church. I was a staunch member of the Temperance Union. I was an organist and a soloist in the church. I married John Emanuel Geiger. We had eight children. We like to talk about uh, these pioneers and what role they played and about their lives and their hardships children who died of diphtheria and smallpox and the postmaster of Spring Valley had smallpox and, and he and his bride both died of it before they were married. They are buried together and in fact Janie was buried with her wedding dress on. I remember crying, I remember helping to build the casket and how sad this whole situation was. Well top of the day to y'all. I am my Irish Pat Murphy. I was born in County Cork, Ireland in 18 and 21. Well, I got to this area, the monument area, and, and just looked around, decided this is the place to be. The grass was thick and deep, and so I went about to establish a homestead here. Walking was one of the things I was most famous for. You know, the people thought it was pretty amazing that I would milk the cows one night, load up 30 pounds of butter, throw it over my shoulder and hike on into Denver. I think it's somewhere around 30 miles, 30 or 40 miles, something like that. Sell the butter and get back the next night to milk the cows. You know, it's no big deal. It's going to Denver and back, I did that pretty often. You know, people would stop me and, and say, hey, would you like a ride, Pat? I said, no, thank you, I'm in a hurry. You know, I could outwalk them horses. And they, when they're pulling a the wagon, they're not too fast. It was 101. They had some foot races in Monument with me and some younger people, and I beat them soundly. I'm not sure why they were even in the race. When I was 102, it was, that uh, I went hiking up Pikes Peak with a couple other younger people. This cemetery dates probably back to before 1870 as the pioneers were crossing the countryside. They used this spot as a burial site because it was on a hill. 
Uh, Douglas County was troubled by Indians during that time, and they thought that if they buried on a hill, the Indians would leave the grave sites alone. We have nine unmarked graves that we don't know who's buried here, but the rest we have been able to ascertain over the years who is buried here. A lot of times our pioneers didn't have money for headstones, so just by word of mouth and talking to some of the families, we're able to find where these people are buried. Spring Valley was one of the first settlements in Douglas County when it was actually, when Colorado was still a territory. And uh, it's, it has a lot of historical significance down here in the southeast part of Douglas County. I'm Ada Bucks Lorraine, and I was born in 1877. My mother uh, came down with pneumonia and she died. She died on December 10th, 1888. Um, she was very young. She was only 39 years old at the time. As you could imagine, the death of our mother was just devastating for us. And Spring Valley was a very tight-knit community and neighbors stepped up to help where they could. Hi, I'm uh, Newton B. Alderman. I was born in uh, 1852. Spring Valley needed a bigger cemetery. So in 1913, I got a hold of the uh, Spring Valley Cemetery Association and sell them the land so that uh, the cemetery here would go up to uh, Spring Valley Road. Just stories like this, I think, are, are things that people enjoy.